Right, so usually when you hear the news, breaking news, local man kept alligator as a pet, one, for that story to have taken place in Florida, and two, for that man to possibly have been tragically eaten. But this is not one of those stories. And my boy Albert, uh, not one of those gators. Because it turns out this 11 foot, 750 pound prehistoric dinosaur is more than just a pet, he's family. With his owner slash papa, Tony Cavallero, telling reporters that he adopted Albert from a reptile show all the way back in 1990 when the animal was just a baby. And since then, he's come to see Albert as a son. But now, Albert's gone. Right, because according to the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Tony's dangerous animal license, it expired in 2021 after it was determined that Albert's holding area failed to meet safety standards. So Tony, he tries to get his license renewed, but with no luck. And either way, the department told reporters, even if the owner was appropriately licensed, public contact with the animal is prohibited and grounds for license revocation and relocation of the animal. You know, because allegedly, Tony allowed people, including children, to get into the water with the unsecured alligator. So now, with all this, we're seeing a story catching fire. In fact, over 100,000 people so far have signed a petition demanding that New York bring Albert back home. 